Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 7th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Pretty large plasma filament destabilizing. We are watching those the last few days. And 1M class flare every 24 hours. It seems to be the pattern right now. Big sunspot groupings are the players for the M class solar flares. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see the plasma filament that destabilized. Half of it went out into the abyss. The other half snapped back into the sun. And then watching a sunspot grouping, pretty active coming in. Looking at outgoing here, large plasma filament on the right-hand side. Seems to be hanging out along the surface still. Big solar prominence there. Having a look at multi-spectrum. As I said, three M-class solar flares the last 48 hours and watching the plasma filaments. Look at that. Whap. Huge plasma ejection. M-class solar flare and another M-class solar flare from active nine sunspots on the Earth-facing disk. Two pretty sizable sunspot groupings that we're watching closely as they have been big players as of late. Now let's have a quick look here at the surface of our sun in motion here. Time lapse sped up. Big sunspot groupings. We want to watch when it's red and blues together. Here, just looking like there's black holes on the sun. Space weather conditions. Currently, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected, and as well, G2 level 2 geomagnetic storm impacts. These are moderate, high latitude power systems may experience high voltage alarms. Solar winds are coming in at 492 kilometers per second right now. Solar X ray flux, as I said, three M class solar flares, moderate and one, two moderate and one strong. Shows four there, but one was a double spike, long duration. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP6. So, level two geomagnetic storm right now. And that is due to this most recent CME looking at the projection here, Space Weather Prediction Center. We're expecting that throughout the day today and into tomorrow. And even into the 10th, as you can see those huge solar streams coming out from the center of this spiral here. This is our sun, depicting our sun. And as well, the little green circle is our planet, planet Earth. And when you've got the yellow and the green coming in, that is space weather effects and geomagnetic storms. Ispa Space Prediction Spiral showing a backside CME taking off towards Mercury. And a big band of space weather here expected over the next couple days. Minor auroras through the northern hemisphere will be observed, can be observed. Tonight forecast and tomorrow forecast pretty much the same. And then let's have a look here for the first week of Alaska 3 imagery. Big halo CME on the first into the second. And then no ma real major CMEs thwarted our way since then. Just some pretty active sunspot re regions producing M flares, X flares. It has been very busy the last few weeks, counting over 170 sunspots for the month of May. And that is well above predicted values, almost triple the, predict the predicted values by NASA and NOAA. This is showing the last seven days, big backside CME there. Stay tuned and keep you aware and prepared. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. It's been pretty busy. 5.9 earthquake here, Sea of Okhotsk, Oskosk. 622 kilometer depth though, 
That's the deepest earthquake we've seen since the 617 kilometer depth earthquake just about a month or two ago. Deep earthquakes all through the Marianas Trench as well. The Volcano Islands region, 5.6 there, Indonesia, pretty deep. And as well, Rutang, Indonesia, 534 kilometer depth earthquake. No deep earthquakes to show here in the Kermadec Trench or Fiji. Notable activity here up into northern China. 4.1 there, Tibetan Plateau. 4.0 earthquake there, Greece. 4.5 here south of Iceland. And that Iceland volcano is still pretty active. Two cones spewing lava. Lots of earthquakes here in the southern hemisphere. South Sandwich Islands seeing a 5.5. 5.3 and as well 4.9 and just east there south at south mid-atlantic with a 5.4 and a 5.3 activity coming back to south america it was pretty quiet recently central america a little bit quiet for considering what we're seeing up in north america right now 4.3 earthquake here bayview california heads up all along the california coast now Newport Beach, California, 3.6, 3.4. Notable earthquake there along the shoreline. Hawaii, 3.4 there reported today. And there's been over 400 earthquakes just on the big island of Hawaii. Earthquake swarm occurred a couple days ago. Right now, the USGS is reporting 230 earthquakes across the map. And that is a little bit above average. But let's have a look here over California. Show you exactly where these earthquakes were. In Costa Mesa and Newport Beach. And then minor seismicity all around the basin. All around San Francisco Bay. And then just recently here with the 4.3 at Bayview off the coastline. But up into the Juan de Fuca Trench. Now let's have a look at Hawaii here. This is the last 24 hours, only showing 36 earthquakes. So things have since ceased since this is the caldera of Kilauea volcano. And as I said, we did have quite a large earthquake swarm just a couple days ago, reporting over 350 earthquakes in and around the caldera of Kilauea volcano. 450 across the island. So we were kind of expecting an eruption, and no major eruption occurred, thank God. Now let's have a look at across Canada. Earthquakes all along the west coast here. Most, most recent earthquakes are the Orange, Port Hardy, B.C. This is back on the 3rd. Northward all the way into the Northwest Territories. Notable earthquakes here east of Ottawa, Cornwall. Huntington, Quebec City, as well back here. That was back in May, May 15th. All the earthquakes up into the St. Lawrence. Don't normally give a update on Canadian earthquakes because there isn't really that much activity to report, but recently there has been. Now this is a glance at the last of seven days for earthquakes around the world. Most notable is that deep and 5.9 magnitude earthquake, 620 kilometer depth off the coast of Russia, as well notable large earthquake here, North Atlantic, and all the recent activity in the Scotia Plate. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that you love our planet and humanity as much as I do and want to stay aware and prepared as much as I do. So thanks for watching, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.